so we are here in Masuri to drive the new C-Class but Mercedes-Benz has been kind enough and resourceful enough to get all of their C-Class generations right here in Masuri. So starting with the W201 which I believe was one of the most beautiful automobile designs. The W124 also had this kind of a design theme. That 201 looks beautiful. Here's a quick history for you to pause and read. Next up, the second generation of the C-Class, the Baby Benz, the W202. It slightly started getting curvaceous here, softer lines. Okay, I'll not use the word curvaceous. It still had angular styling, but you know, much softer surfaces, more smoother surfaces. And that's another bit of history for the W202. You can pause and read it. So that used to be called the 190E, 190D, etc. If I'm not wrong, and this is for the first time uh, where they gave it the C-Class name. This is the third generation of the C-Class, the W203, the first one that came to India. So India got the C-Class with this very model. That's a bit of history there. And that teardrop shape was you know quite quite a big design change in fact this is where stuff started getting more curvaceous of the modern generation of c classes i think this has to be my favorite the w204 maybe i have something for angular headlights when it comes to mercs and this i think was one of the most beautiful looking C-Class models of the modern generation. Very elegant on the outside, very elegant on the inside. I still love the clock that they had on the inside. I'm not sure if this car is unlocked. Well, it's not, but they used to have a clock on the center console. This one doesn't seem to have it. I think it came with the facelift if I'm not wrong. But yeah, this to me was one of the most beautiful C-Classes around. And then, of course, came the W205. What a successful C-Class. This has been world over. Beautiful to look at. Very sporty in the way it drove. Very comfortable at the same time. And with the facelift, with that kind of a headlight design, I think people absolutely loved it. Quite spacious as well for what it offers. Quite elegant on the inside. This is where the baby s class name was established in a way because it literally just mimicked the s class in its design so that's the interesting bit if you look at the various generations of the c class you know they have always had a very distinctive styling you did not have an e class that looked like that you had an e class that looked like the first one but that was the first car to get that design if i'm not wrong never had an e-class or any other mercedes that really looked like this especially in the sedans the s-class never looked like it the e-class never looked like it those design themes were different the e-class had split headlamps the s-class had a very different headlamp design same with this generation of the c-class very different than the rest of uh, the mercedes-benz sedans at that point of time though these were instrumental in establishing design themes across generations they always had their own unique identity this one, however, started that baby S-Class trend, like I said, and that continues with the new W206 C-Class as well. This is right here in India. This looks like the baby S-Class of the modern times. This is the C300D in its AMG line with its sportier design, the sportier front end. That diamond grille has made way for a new grille that has the three-pointed star on it see these small details there a very detailed design but again baby s class theme continues 